Okay, in this video, we're just going to uh, make A the subject of this particular formula. Now, at the moment, V is the subject. So what we're saying is V equals U plus A T. And whatever those values are, if you add U to A times T, it means that you'll get the value of V. Okay, now it might be in certain circumstances that you need to make A the subject of the formula. In other words, A equals something. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize this is a, an algebra expression, which basically means is that we're going to balance it around the equal sign. So whatever we do to the right hand side or the left hand side, we have to do the same both sides. OK, and what I ideally want to be in a position is that A is on its own on one side and everything else is on the other side of the formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this U. Now at the moment, the easiest way to get rid of it is I'm going to minus U. But because I have to minus U from the right hand side, I also have to minus U from the left hand side. OK, what that means then is I've got U minus u, so effectively those two cancel themselves out and I lose it completely. And it leaves me on the right hand side with just simply a t. On the left hand side I have v, which is already there, and minus u. Okay, I hope you can see that okay on the, on the video. So we're now in a position where we've got a times t equals v minus u. But as I've mentioned before, I want a on its own. Well, because I'm multiplying by t, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to divide by t. I'm going to do the opposite because t divided by t is the same as saying t over t, if you like, as a fraction. And both of those will equal 1. So what I get left with on the right hand side is going to be 1a, but it's just common convention to call it just a on its own. So on the right hand side I've got a, which is fantastic news because that's exactly what I want because I'm making a the subject. On the left hand side I've got still v minus u, but this time I'm going to divide by t both sides. So it becomes V minus U divided by T. OK, now remember that the division sign really also means fraction sign. This is T divided by T in much the same way that if I write 3 over 4, it's also exactly the same as saying 3 divided by 4. Um, they, they're very much interchangeable. I hope that's OK for you. So V minus U divided by t is going to be equal to a. Uh, please do like, comment, subscribe to the site, uh, add a comment below if you'd like me to uh, develop this a little bit more. If you've got any questions, I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.